In this video, we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n times the sum. The first thing is we have to identify this as a definition of an integral problem. So the formula is going to be the sum from i equals 1 to n of delta x times this inside is just going to be x i star. And you want to take the limit of this whole thing. So a is going to be the lower bound of the integral. Delta x is b minus a over n. And so now, if we expand this further, so delta x clearly has to be 1 over n here. And then f of x i star is obviously 1 over 2 plus i over n. So starting with the delta x, that's b minus a over n, which is 1 over n. And if you cancel out the n's, you get b minus a is 1. And now the question is, what is our function? So we can have two different functions here. We can think of the inside as 1 over x, or we can think of it as 1 over 2 plus x. So we'll consider both of these, and both are equally correct. OK, so let's say if our function is 1 over x, then a has to equal 2. So why is that? Well, what is f of 2? So if we go back, we said a plus i delta x. So a is 2, we said. i delta x is 1 over n. And if f of x is 1 over x, we're just going to plug in 2 plus i times 1 over n in for x. So we get this, 2 plus i over n. Okay, And that's what this stuff is. So then a is 2, b minus a is 1, so that means the difference between the two bounds is 1. If the lower bound is 2, that means the upper bound is 3. And so we have the integral from 2 to 3, 1 over x dx. Now, if f of x is 1 over 2 plus x, the 2 is already being taken care of, so really we're going to plug in just i over n, or delta x, because a is 0. And so that you still end up getting the same thing. So if a is 0, b has to equal 1. And so we have the integral from 0 to 1, 1 over 2 plus x dx.